What's happening, Pandy Nation? Peter Von Pand here. Let's try out this cheap USB microphone. All right, so I picked this up from Amazon Warehouse because it said dented box. <laughs> and they weren't kidding. It's dented. Hey, uh, but this little USB microphone was pretty inexpensive and it's kind of like, well, it reminds me of like those old school microphones that stand on their own base. A lot of them now come with a tripod and a windsock and all that. And I just wanted something cheap so I could record quick videos with decent audio. And especially when you're using a laptop, which those built-in microphones absolutely stink, or a desktop that often don't even have a microphone, you know, this is gonna make a big difference. I think and I hope, and we're gonna test it out. And the other thing I do is, like I said, short videos, little webinars, little, that type of thing. And I do have like a BC Master, my Fryfine microphone, and I like them, but they're a little big and bulky. And so something like this, you can see is much smaller and I can just have it in my desk drawer and whip it out if I need to. Now it does have a pretty long USB cable here. I'm gonna call that like six feet long and just a standard USB a port on this end which you'd expect which i'm gonna actually use with my iphone here via the camera lightning adapter so we'll test it out there and then it has actually a really nice base this is all plastic here you can kind of see how it has a tri-lobe design there are some feet on the bottom and there's actually some plastic on them so i'm assuming they're kind of silicone feet let me take a second to get them off but you can see now now it's just a little rubber so not super sticky, but a little grippy. So you'll have that there and then a big one right up here on the front. And then you have a articulating kind of metal tube microphone stand. It's probably total, total extended, maybe about nine inches from tip to base here. So you do have a foam uh, cover over the microphone. If I pull it off, there we go. Now you can kind of see what that looks like. I got an angled piece here. I think it's omnidirectional, but which is actually not really what I want. You can see the cutouts here. So it kind of looks like it. It's gonna pick up voice on the, or sound on the side. And then we have a little angle cut here and some holes there so you can kind of speak right into it. And I think from the pictures I've seen, I do like that it comes with the phone cover. A lot of microphones don't, and I don't know why they don't throw that in. That is literally two cents worth of, you know, equipment and it helps get the, the wind noise out of it. Um, these, these metal rods, FYI, remind me totally of those old school uh, nozzles that you used to put in like the uh, portable gas cans. You remember those? <coughs> right? Anyway, you don't have to do that anymore. But from the pictures I saw, people are talking into it like this, which would make sense. So I'm hoping that most of that sound pickup is right at the top. But if it picks up around me, that's okay too. Now, right on the bottom here, it looks like we have a little uh, hole there. That might be a LED light. And then it looks like we have... Um, a little off on switch there. And I think that's not necessarily off on, but it's more of like a mute, kind of a cough switch. All right, I've got the microphone plugged in and we'll really see if it's working. But first of all, as I pick it up here, it is plugged in, I'm gonna shout a little bit. It's hopefully picking up omnidirectional sound. You can see this little um, white plastic is illuminated so you get this blue glow from it. It's more visible when it is dark. But I'm just gonna put it down on the base, on the table here and I'm gonna speak into it just in front of me. It's probably about a foot away from my face here. And one of the things that I'm gonna note here is that I love those rubber feet. I think that's gonna help isolate it from the table, from a desk, anything that you're working on so that you don't get vibration coming up through there. This is how it'll sound, you know? And I think, hopefully, it's just a nice small microphone that will do me right when I need to capture just a little bit better audio than um, I would want to on the standard built-in microphone. And I will also say that this is a really inexpensive one and I love the compact size. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much I paid, but probably in the $12, $13 range. So if you're looking for a really inexpensive, small footprint USB microphone, this one might do you right. So pick it up. I'll put a link to it in the description below, Peter Von Panda. Out.